Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system, kind of. We have 3 to the power a equals 5 to the power b equals 225. And we are supposed to evaluate the expression ab over a plus b. Okay, so I'm going to be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first method. For the first method, I'm going to be using logarithms. So when you have a variable in the exponent, uh, that's pretty common that we use logarithms to write it. Since 3 to the power a is 225, by using the definition of logarithms, I can write it with a base 3. So I can write this as log 3 of 225 is equal to a. And since 5 to the power b is equal to 225, from here I can safely say that log of 225 in base 5 is equal to b. Again, if you use the definition, you can get these results. Uh, you could also get the same results if you just take this expression 3 to the power a equals 225 and log both sides with base 3, you would be getting the exact same thing. But this time, you know, it's going to be a little longer maybe. But it's the same thing. You're going to bring down the a and log 3 base 3 is just going to be 1. That way you'll get a equals the same thing. Okay? So we were able to get a and b numerically pretty much. Now we can go ahead and plug it in. But before we plug it in, I want to simplify this a little bit because I don't really want to work in base 3. And one of the most important formulas, rules, properties, whatever you want to call it, in logarithms is change of base, right? So we're going to be using the change of base formula. How do you use change of base? So change of base works like this. So if you have log, you know, x with y with base x, you can basically write it as log y over log x. Here, you can choose any base, but a lot of times we use either e or 10 uh, as our base. So I'm going to take this expression and write the a as log 225 over log 3. And I'm going to write the b as log 225 over log 5. Here, I use base 10 because it's convenient. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, substitute all of this into my expression, which is a, b over a plus b. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Now, a, b means a times e. So we're going to multiply these expressions, log 225 over log 3, multiply by log 225 over log 5. And at the bottom, we're supposed to add them. Log 225 over log 3 plus log 225 over log 5. Now, what am I going to do in the numerator? The numerator, I can just multiply those two quantities. That means log 225 squared divided by log 3 times log 5. That's multiplication is easy. The bottom one, we need a common denominator, but let's go ahead and take out log 225 as a common factor. And we get 1 over log 3 plus 1 over log 5. And then make a common denominator. We get log 5 plus log 3 divided by log 3 times log 5, which is the common denominator. So now this is kind of like dividing two fractions, so it's kind of like a complex fraction. Uh, we can simplify this. Uh, for example, 1 of the log 225, so we can cancel out. Log 3 times log 5 as a product can be canceled out. And we end up with something nicer. We get log 225 over log 5 plus log 3. And from the properties of logarithms, this can be written as log 3 times 5, the bottom expression, which is log 15. And 225 happens to be 15 squared. So I can write it as log 15 squared divided by log 15. And the 2, obviously, can be moved to the front. And we can write this as 2 log 15 over log 15. And they're all in base 10, by the way. And you can cross them out. And the answer is going to come out as 2. So... That's fairly simple, right? Let's talk about this second method here. Now, the second method you'll probably like better, but let me know which one you like better in the comments. The second method is uh, different. We're going to be using the uh, expression. So we have 3 to the power a is 225 and 5 to the power b is 225. So I'm going to raise both sides to the power 1 over a. So from here we get 3 equals 225 to the power 1 over a and 5 equals 225 to the power 1 over b. Now, why did I do that? Because I would like to get my expression. Remember, my goal is to evaluate this, and this expression kind of reminds me uh, that I can get the reciprocals and use them. You'll see in a little bit how. 
Now, 3 and 5 can be put together. Let's go ahead and multiply them. 3 times 5, and on the right-hand side, we get one, 225 to the power 1 over A and 225 to the power 1 over B. 3 times 5 is equal to 15, and on the right-hand side, when you multiply powers with the same base, what do you do? You add the exponents, right? And this gives us something nice. Why? Let me tell you. If you make a common denominator, you get A plus B over AB. But notice that the expression that I'm trying to evaluate is just the reciprocal of that. So why don't we raise both sides to the power something, right? How about uh, raising both sides to the power of uh, reciprocal of this thing? So I'm going to raise both sides to the power AB over A plus B. Now I have 225 to the power A plus B over AB, which is raised to the power AB over A plus B. Now, the reason for that is, first of all, take advantage of this expression. And the second is, on the right-hand side, everything is going to cancel out in the exponents, and we're going to end up with 1. So this tells us that 15 to the power AB over A plus B can be written as 225, and 225 happens to be 15 squared, right? So from here, since the bases are equal, the exponents are also equal, we can safely say that AB plus AB over A plus B is equal to 2, as we found with the first method before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.